Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and as you probably know, Apple has recently released the first beta of iOS 18.2 and this will be a big update. The first beta has some amazing new features and changes that make iOS 18 a really an amazing update and will change a lot on the way you use your iPhone, especially if you have an Apple intelligence device, an iPhone 15 Pro or the iPhone 16 series. This is an amazing update. Now, of course, some of the main features will be the Apple intelligence features one of them being the new pl image playground app where you can create different images and also genmoji now you will have to request access to these features and as you can see right here i've been like waiting for this for like four days now or three days whatever time it was actually released now the main thing here is that if you just update it to ios 18.2 beta 1 and those first minutes you requested these features you would be approved otherwise if you were late like three or four hours like i was you will have to wait and this has actually been confirmed by apple because it will actually be rolling out in the next weeks so this means that we will have to wait for these features probably for a couple of weeks or so but of course we have some other great features on ios 18.2 and let's take a look at these and how to enable and how to use them on your device now first of all will be chat gpt and it's now finally here with ios 18.2 and you will be able to enable it by going to settings go to apple intelligence and Siri go right here under the chat GPT section and you enable it right there. This is how you can enable it and you can actually use chat GPT to also create images by asking Siri. So with iOS 18.2, you can just ask Siri to do something using chat GPT. So let's just try it out. Create an image of a rocket using chat GPT. And as you can see, it's currently working. And in a few seconds here, we should have the result. Now, this is great. You can, you can actually ask Siri to do anything by using ChatGPT. So it's actually awesome. Now, ChatGPT is also integrated into the, the writing tools. So if you go to your writing tools right there, you can see here we have a few different changes and features. First of all, describe your change. If you want to change something here, you don't have to use one of the options. You can maybe just describe here what you want to change on that text that you have there. Or if you go to compose, then right here, you will be able to compose with chat GPT. So you can go ahead and just compose anything you want you just describe of course anything you want the writing tools to compose for you and they will do that of course using chat gpt now if you go here what you can also do is tap the plus button and this will actually allow you to add files or even images that you can use then to compose of course files from your files app and images that will be from the photos library now, one really cool thing with iOS 18.2 is that, of course, you can create new emojis. And you can see right here, when you go to actually search for an emoji, if you search for an emoji, you use like some words to describe an emoji and it cannot find such emojis that will match your search, it will actually give you a suggestion here to create a new emoji. And it will do that for you, of course, once you have access to the Genmoji feature, or if you already have that access, you can do that from there. And you also get a button right here, which you can use anytime you want to actually create a new emoji. Now here's one really cool new feature on iOS 18.2. If you're downloading something on Safari, you can now view it on the dynamic island of your device. It will look like this. Once you start a download, you will have also the button there that will also allow you to stop that download anytime you want. But now downloads from Safari can be viewed directly from the dynamic island. New on Safari as well is the ability to now export and import data, history and website data, the section right here on the settings app on Safari will have now two new buttons where you can import or export your data. So you can see right here, this is the list of things that you will see. You will have your profiles right here. We'll have bookmarks, history, extensions, and credit cards if you have, and then passwords as well. Of course, you can choose whatever you want here to actually export or import to Safari. 
on the settings app when you go to the app section you will have now a new section for default apps now what you will see here is different sections for email message and calling also the browsers and the keyboards and the passwords and you can see the default apps that you're using for each of them and of course you can even switch from here so if we go to browser in this case we have safari here which we're using or we can switch to chrome directly for from here and the same will be for email and of course all the other things so when you have like a different options to use different apps you can now easily find all the apps that support like third-party services directly from here now one really cool thing that i really like about ios 18.2 is that if you go under accessibility and you go to audio and visuals right here you can now enable always show volume control now what this will do is that it will actually show the volume slider on the lock screen every time so as you can see right here, when we're on the lock screen, we now have the volume slider, which allows us to easily turn up or down the volume of your device. A new addition to the control center as well. When you go to add toggles, you can now add type to Siri right on your control center. So let's just go ahead and search for Siri. Then we have a button, which now allows us to tap there and start typing to Siri anytime you want. The big change to the mail app is finally here with iOS 18.2 and here we have a few different things that you will notice right away once you open this app. First of all, we have like different categories or groups right here, which I found to be very useful. So you will have your primary ones then you will have here the tr transactions, you will have the updates and the promotions as well. Now this works really well. It will filter your email inbox and it will be much, much easier for you to focus and find the things that you actually need. Now you can see right here, we have these four groups, but if we swipe like this, we can just display all the email or if you want to go back to groups you just swipe like that with ios 18.2 on the settings app you will now see the tinted icons of course when you're also using tinted icons on the home screen not all of them but a few here and if you go also into the app section you will see that all of the icons of the apps now have that tinted look now what's really cool is that this will also display right here on the share sheet so you will have the tint here as well so these are some of the cool new features you will be able to find on iOS 18.2. Again, a great update that will change everything on your iPhone. But what to expect next? Well, in a couple of weeks, we should have a beta 2. I believe that Apple will move on a two week schedule, probably for the first two or three betas. So expect it to be somewhere around here on the 4th, maybe of of november or maybe even on the 5th or the 6th of november that should be the time that we get a new beta of ios 18.2 and as far as the release goes we have to wait probably towards the end of december i would expect it to be somewhere around here from the 16th or maybe 17th of december so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video smash the like button if you did subscribe for more videos and i will see you on the next one